Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at one of two of the shoots' fresh hop ales, harvest ale, wet hop ale, whatever you want to call them. This is brand new for them. This is their Chasing Freshies, a 7.4% alcohol by volume wet hop IPA. And really, really special what they're doing with this one. They are using an heirloom strain of Cascade hop. So very cool to get to be able to try like one of the original, you know, flavor hops that really kind of developed into one of the you know most important hops of modern craft beer so looking forward to this one let me get into a glass so you guys know how it smells tastes and give you the final verdict on the shoots chasing freshies all right guys so the appearance on the chasing freshies it's really 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 a light yellow hay yellow sunshine yellow crystal clear i can see the lights right through it nice carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass though there was a beautiful beautiful Three fingers, bright white, fluffy, pillowy head on this one. Dissipating pretty quickly. Uh, decent amount of head lacing on there. A slight touch of alcohol legs on the side of the glass. But overall, just a really clean looking IPA. All right, guys, the aroma. I'm chasing freshies. Wow, yeah, classic, classic Cascade hops. You know, the classic West Coast flavor. Uh, you're getting big orange peel, big grapefruit juice immediately from this one. A nice kind of sugary, malty sweetness to it. There's actually a slight dankness to it as well, which is interesting. Yeah, but overall, just a bit of grapefruit, orange juice bomb. Just awesome stuff. All right, guys, the taste and the chasing freshies. Cheers. Wow, really nice. Right at the front of the tongue, a slight touch of bitterness followed immediately by that grapefruit juice, orange peel, lemon zest um, from the Cascade hops. Middle of the mouth, very light, sweet, um, kind of malty breadiness to it. Very nice, uh, like sweet graininess in there. Immediately taken over with uh, by grapefruit, like a sugar coated grapefruit, nice orange juice quality to it. Nice West Coast dry finish on this one, aftertaste, um, a little bit of dankness in there. It's very underlying, but there's definitely some dankness to this one. More grapefruit juice, more orange juice in the aftertaste. And with all those Cascade hops in there, fresh Cascade, I would expect that on this one. I think the big difference between like a wet hop ale and a regular IPA is this one doesn't have like that pop, that Christmas crisp that you get in some of the you know higher end IPAs but these are just so fresh you just get the you know the optimum flavor from the hops rather than like the uh, you know perceived bitterness and flavor and everything it's just a really really nice refreshing easy to drink IPA just great stuff all right, guys, so the final verdict on the shoots, Chasing Freshy, 7.4% alcohol by volume available now. Limited quantities, get it now, get it fresh. Can't stress that enough with this one. Gonna get an A minus from me. This is just a great example of history in a bottle. Being able to taste the original Cascade hop, you know, the heirloom strain is just an awesome thing. And where did craft beer come from? Where do all our big IPAs, West Coast style IPAs originate from? Boom, this is it. Just super easy to drink. Just a really, really refreshing refreshing, flavorful beer, and it's awesome stuff. Get it now, drink it fresh. You know, they put an expiration date of uh, December on it, but that's that's too far if you ask me. Fresh Hop Ales, you know, they, they are meant to be had now. So get it if you can, awesome stuff. Great history lesson in a bottle for all us beer geeks. So with that said, getting an A- minus from me, and remember folks, life's too short, drink amazing beers. Cheers.